Well, campaigners here in France have been trying to change attitudes and raise awareness about endometriosis, and they have secured a victory this week. The supermarket chain Carrefour has become the first major company in France to announce it will give women who suffer with the condition up to 12 days off a year. Well, to discuss, I'm very pleased to be joined on the line now by Dr. Horace Roma, who is one of France's foremost experts on endometriosis. Welcome to the programme, sir. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Can you um, tell us, first of all, just what your reaction is to this decision by Carrefour? Well, endometriosis is a high uh, prevalence disease, and uh, it has been ignored for so many years that any initiative warrants be commended. So hence, women working for Carrefour will maybe pay more attention to their symptoms, which may be related to endometriosis, as the physician working for Carrefour will probably do. But the major goal is to identify these patients and to propose them a prompt diagnosis and management. Indeed, because it's not just about women getting time off, is it, when they're suffering with this? It's also about medical advancements. I, I read today that in the United Kingdom, it takes about eight years for a woman to get a diagnosis of endometriosis. Is that about the same here in France? Why does it take so long for women to be diagnosed with this? Well, the delay between the, the first symptom to diagnosis is long because most of endometriosis symptoms are not very specific. So it is almost logical that during the first month, uh, the diagnosis is not, uh, is not affirmed. Now, from, from this point of view, I think we can, we can commend the, the um, introduction of the salivary test, which may be the opportunity to diagnose endometriosis earlier and to treat it earlier. Is it the case, though, that there's not enough money available right now to investigate endometriosis? Do you think the government, for example, needs to provide more money for this? Well, uh, there is there is never enough money for research in uh, in uh, in medicine in general. Uh, but we can we can uh, mention that uh, the national strategy against endometriosis. Uh, which has been uh, introduced last year by the President Macron, may change some, uh, some, sometimes the things because uh, there are now money destined uh, specifically to the research and uh, to the management of endometriosis. So I think that in France, we, we could make a step ahead in the management of endometriosis last year. Yeah, uh, you may have heard in that report we just played that a woman said, look, if men were suffering with this, there'd be far more attention paid to it, more treatments would now be available. Do you think that's true? Um, no, not, not, not really. I think, uh, I think there are a lot of, uh, of painful diseases which, uh, um, which are not uh, diagnosed enough. But what is for sure that the endometriosis most, uh, most probably has, uh, has observed uh, increased prevalence during the last uh, 30 to 40 years. And uh, the awareness about endometriosis uh, was not uh, enough during the last years. But I think that now we, we can see an, a major improvement in both awareness, research, and uh, in the management of endometriosis. Dr. Horace Dr. Roman, thank you very much indeed, sir.